five thirty, potential long. Let's see. That doesn't look bad because it's you know trading higher. It's phase two acquisition. That that looks all the news that I like. So right now I'm watching BDRX. I might go long. Uh, if it breaks like. Whoa, 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 that's, there we go, I got some long, whoa, 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 BDRX, there we go, I got some long, shit, I did get some long, I told you, go long, got long, got long, BDRX, fuck yeah, BDRX, got long, there we go, I found my fucking winner, Fucking A, man. Fucking A. Fucking A. Jesus Christ. There we go. That was a nice downtrend break right there. You guys see it? After. <laughs> fucking A, man. I'm telling you, man. Freaking A. Freaking A. Trading like a monk. Right here. I went long at 550. I went long. I went long. Going long. I told you that's a good long. Because that's a downtrend break. And that has good news. So see that? You have a high, a high, a high, and then a long. I, and I was like, dude, if this breaks 530, I'm going to take this freak, freaking thing long. There we go. And we just, Thor went back up. Piece of shit. I sold it. Look at Thar coming back up. So we got we got five people here watching. Congratulations. So it took that long. So Thar is kind of like coming back to my entry. And I sold it and I lost. So now BDRX. I took that long. I, I, I said you have to be potential long at five feet. So I took two trades. Two trades today. Thar and BDRX. Thar was terrible. I wish I wish I would have been better in Thar. BDRX. BDRX. I took that long. My fills in BDRX. I actually took it with a higher size. And I actually got four five forty eight filled. Five forty eight filled. And that's golden, man. That's good. That's good. I'm in the halt. BDRX halt. I'm in the halt, yo. I'm in the halt. I'm telling you, like, this is this is this is normal price action. Remember, in the morning, I told you that most of my trades before nine nine o'clock on Monday are shit. That's this is a good example. Everything before nine was shit because they just move it all the freaking a around, and I got a big headache. They spike it up at seven o'clock a.m. and then they just chop you out. I mean, Th Th Thar was just one big piece of crap. And then my only setup showed up here in BDRX. BDRX was the only ticker that was obvious and easy and really good. Hold on. BDRX about to unhalt. Let's see. Let's review what BDRX had. A daily breakout. A low float. The float is like 5 million. Looking at, I mean... BDRX float is 5 million. I don't know how many times. There there has been at least, I don't know, 10 to, I, I think 80% of the time I wake up before, I trade before 9 o'clock on Monday, I lose money. That's kind of like how it's been statistically over the last two years. And... Um, and and it, it what happens is like multiple Mondays I show up and I make a trade after nine or nine thirty and I win, so avoid trading before nine thirty. That's pretty much um pretty much what I have to say for you guys on Monday. That's probably it. That's kind of like an eighty percent rule. Doesn't happen all the freaking time. So I'm just in BDRX halt. I'm going. I went long. See, this is a clean downtrend break. Clean clean this is clean and it has news it has five milli float 
had a BDRX here. I mean, it's very solid. I got in on this push and I'm going to sell to like 630. I got 550 fills. I'm looking at 540 exit. Let me put a 540 exit. Sorry, 640 exit. 6 637. 637. 637 exit. The exit is in. I just put in 637. I want to sell over here. I mean, this could go to 7, but I want to take my 20% and move on. That's kind of like what I'm going to be doing. So I'm waiting for the stock to unhalt. BDRX unhalt at 4, 943 is about to unhalt. 938 was the halt. So right now we're just about to unhalt. The level 2 is in the middle. There you go. There you go. There's my exit. 635. There I'm I'm out. Whoa. Seven dollars. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Seven fucking dollars. Jesus Christ. I'm a big I'm up. <laughs> Holy shit. 750. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I sold it. Holy shit. PDRX 7.5. Holy shit. I'm an idiot, man. This is the problem. I make a dollar a share and goes up another fucking dollar a share. You know how many times I had this problem? Now we're in a secondary fucking halt. You know how many times I had this problem? I had this problem so many times. Oh, my God. Whew. Yep. So that's um that's pretty much uh pretty much how we're going to do it. Holy shit. I I went long at 5 5 550 on this candle and then I got out at 613. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Did anybody catch this? See, this is this is the problem. If you have a loss, like you're not that excited to trade again, right? Cuz it feels shitty. You have a loss. It feels like the end of the world. And then the next ticker, you go long and you're like, well, I'm not holding my winners now. You make back your loss because or maybe you bet less. You actually need to bet more on the next one. I actually bet more and uh, you barely make and you sell it too soon. This is the problem. This is the problem, guys. You wake up, you take a loss. And then the next trade you come in, you if you size down because you're too scared because you lost on the trade before, you're going to bet less and you're going to sell it too soon and then you're going to be flat on the day. It's, it's a very, this is trading. Trading is very counterintuitive. But at least we caught the right one. We caught BDRX, downtrend break, solid news, 5 milli float, next resistance, is it 830? Or eight nine 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 now? Can you really hit nine? I don't know. I made my twenty percent. I'm out. I, I I'm trying to patch up the loss that I had in Thar. <laughs> Cause I'm an idiot. This is this is a stupid trade. This is how stupid I get. I really get stupid on the first trade, and then the next trade I sell it too soon. This is the problem. I have multiple problems. I'm not. Let me see. Where's the Yoda master? Maybe I have to be the Yoda master. There you go. Be the Yoda. Be the Yoda. <laughs> this is what he should try to aim to be at all times. Be the Yoda. Calm, collected. Don't get don't get over emotional because the trades show up. Like eventually you're gonna, you know, not eventually. Like I hit home run trades like more than 50% of the time. But if you don't manage your losses correctly. Like in Thor, <laughs> and you're like here at five and you sell it at four and you lost 20%. And then this BDRX showed up and you're like, well, I lost. It feels like crap. I'm just going to watch. Well, you have to force yourself to buy some and make up the loss. That's kind of like trading. Trading is hard, especially for the amateur and the new guy because you're, I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta make money. So now BDRX, we're in the second halt. 
uh, and it's freaking good. I mean, this is nice. This is is trading higher after company agreement to acquire. Like I say, guys, good news. They have money, acquisition, contract, all these things. Um, all these things. BDRX. Acquisition. You know how much money I lost in acquisitions? You have no idea how much money I lost in acquisition. This is the acquisition. Like, I never I never short an acquisition because they, they don't move it. Acquisitions are just not uh uh pretty much um pretty much uh let's see columns yeah acquisition is not something uh uh, uh we wanna let's see hold on acquisition is not something you wanna you wanna short that's for sure let's see So I'm pretty green right now. <laughs> I'm green. So I don't. I'm trading at like a thousand shares or some, so. a bit here, a bit there. I made some in BDRX, and I made some in Thar. Let's see, Thar. Uh, let's see where is it? And I'm just watching. So that's kind of like, kind of like me. Whoa, 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 that's a freaking gap down freaking play. Glad I sold that one. Holy shit, BDRX. Oh, I, I'm, I'm glad I sold it. I didn't think it's gonna hit seven. This is this is the this is the problem. You have to take your profit. I saw 20%. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of like my PL right now. So I took my Thar. That was it. That was that was the Thar, and um, that was and uh, the other one is uh, BDRX. BDRX was a great trade. I'll hold on. Let me see my BDRX trade. I'll show you my B BDRX trade. There's my BDRX trade. My BDRX trade was the the only solid trade I did. You have to be brave. Have to be brave. This is this is the only solid trade I took today. BDRX right there. Right there, in five minutes, market filled at 5.48 and got out at 6.37. That's what you should be aiming for. You should be aiming for getting in for your 20% and running and running, running, run, man. Or if you made more than 20%, freaking sell it. I mean, from five, I mean, I got out at, I got in at 5.50, which I thought it would be chasing. I thought it would be chasing. I thought it was gonna be I'm gonna be chasing it here at 550, but uh, it was a pre-market high break. You can see so here it was a downtrend break combined with a pre-market high break. I technically didn't want to chase it past 530 because 530 530 would have been an opening range breakout. You can see so here that this is an opening range breakout 530. And then as soon as it breaks 5.30, I mean, that's the area that I wanted to buy. But since it moved so quickly, I mean, it coincided with a pre-market high break. And soon enough, we'd spike up to 7.50. That's a huge break. 5 to 7.50. Is that like a 50% gain? Home run here. I know. Congratulations if you saw that one there. Home run shows up all the time. The problem is keeping your stops managing your losses and not over trading that's your i mean that's what you gotta do it trading is hard it's hard you you might seem easy to you but it's from from far away but you know this is kind of like what's going on because here if you take a 20 percent loss you're not excited to trade again <laughs> it had potential but it didn't go it had potential but it didn't go and you might be like yo you sell that one too soon but what if i would have been stuck in a hold down i mean i definitely sold it too soon i mean i sold it like a dollar too soon maybe i just wanted my 20 percent and be like forget it so we're just gonna let's see we're just gonna let's see that's that's the plan you wanna you wanna <laughs> 
So right now, kind of like my day is kind of done, to tell you the truth. Almost my day is going to be done. I'm still going to be looking at it till 1030 to see what else moved. But primarily, BDRX was the guy to make money in, which is technically a daily resistance over here of like 8, 9. So I'm not sure if it's even going to get there. Maybe it's just the downtrend resistance now. Maybe because cause we, we made, maybe it's just going to be like something like this. Which is technically hitting that level. You see, now it's like a downtrend. This is short the daily downtrend kind of deal. This is short the daily downtrend. It looks like it's acting like that. I mean, FAR was a piece of shit. <laughs> FAR. Our DHL was a piece of shit. We never broke 80. And there's no coincidence we didn't break 80. Because we had too much freaking resistance off the daily. 20 million, 30 million... 10 million we had at least 50 million in resistance on the daily to break the 75 80 level there's no coincidence we never broke that level which i was not excited to buy but whatsoever thar we had potential it just doesn't work but they didn't like the phase one and like i said in many of my videos phase one is a crap news so bdrx was a home run potential there and it's it's not gonna and you and it didn't even come into my scanners you can see most stocks come into my scanners, but because trade ideas doesn't have the float of it, which I had to look at the outstanding shares on BAM SEC. I had to look at the BAM SEC somewhere there. You can see I, I had to look at BAM SEC. So I went to the recent uh, BAM SEC filing and I'm like December 2022, 5 million ordinary shares. So that is semi-decent low float i mean you can see how it moved from like five to like ten so it's you know it's a stock that moved in the past it's a p past runner and we moved up i didn't take advantage of this one but the traders put it on their radar how it moved from three to five fifty we had a, a clean downtrend break com combined with an opening range breakout you know the more things you can combine together let's see if we can get this thing together more things you can combine together you had number one bdrx you had an opening range breakout you know there's no coincidence like you know you want to find 50 percent spikes that's kind of like it you had a downtrend break let's see if we can get all the criteria of the stock uh let's see one let's see you had a low float five you have solid news I mean, the news was solid, solid news. I mean, you had, I mean, you had acquisition and what else was it on the news? Enter an agreement to acquire, uh, enter to agreement to acquire a license to, so it's an acquisition type one diabetes, solid news, acquisition, that's solid news, whatever you want to call it. Float is like 2 million. Float is like. 5 million based on BAM, BAM SEC. So that is technically a low float. Uh, past runner. Uh, past runner. There you go. Past runner. Past runner. And then you had a downtrend break. And then you had like three things that coincided with each other that made this breakout so so huge as BDRX did. You had, you had a downtrend break. This is the downtrend break. Uh, and then you had huge spike. There you go. Huge spike. You had a downtrend break. Let's see. Huge spike. Crit criteria needed. Downtrend break. Downtrend break. That, that was like important. You had opening range breakout. Opening range breakout. And then pre-market high breakout so you have three things going together and i'm going to show you each of them this is the this is the this is the downtrend break you have a high a high a high and it breaks this downtrend and then you had an opening range breakout that means we open and we kissed 530 and then we broke 530 and combine and 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 once we hit 530 we had a big spike and combine that with a pre-market high of 550 you know all these things huge spike five dollars to 750 the more you can combine these three things 
you know, the more spikes you're going to get. That's, that was that was a really nice uh, example of a really nice home run opportunity. And home run opportunity, they don't happen. I mean, you have a stock, and then we have like this. It's very simple. And then we break, and that's kind of like it. You have a downtrend break, you have an opening range breakout, and you have a pre-market high breakout. And then you, you buy it somewhere here. Let's call it somewhere here. That's kind of like how I do it. You buy it somewhere here and you sell it somewhere into the short squeeze. That's kind of like the the criteria that I want you guys to take advantage of this one. That's kind of like how I do it to in and out and uh, you avoid the chop. I avoid the chop whatsoever. And then uh, we pretty much, uh, that's uh, that's BDRX here in, in a nutshell. Uh, pretty pretty simple not really that uh, and you had you had daily resistance at around eight so after I finished like my day I look because I finished at 10 30 11 -ish, I look at other stocks that come into my radar I look at Palo which you know doesn't really I really do scan uh, my midday scanner here ASST I mean, you're not going to get all the freaking time. Um, BDRX, you're not going to get like, uh, that's kind of like how I do it. And you're going to have losses. That's for freaking sure. Let's see. We can get, uh, hold on. There's no delay. There we go. 